The Center for E-Learning, Didactics and Educational Research at the University of Veterinary Medicine Hanover will demonstrate how to carry out the intravenous injection in horses in the following video. Only one correct method is shown in this video. Needed for this exercise in the skills lab are a syringe, a cannula, pink, sterile injection solution, gauze swabs, disinfectant, and, if necessary, clippers. The fastest invasion time of medication throughout an organism in comparison to other types of application occurs through the intravenous injection. Therefore, it is mainly used in emergent cases, for example, in treating anaphylactic shock or colic, but also for acute infections and for sedation. The usual injection site is the external jugular vein, found in the jugular groove of the horse's neck. Injections into the superficial thoracic vein, cranial epigastric vein, or the antibrachial cephalic vein are also possible. The horse's head is fixed into position by an assistant. It is best to keep the horse's head slightly stretched. If fixating the horse in this manner is not sufficient, snaffling the horse creating a neck fold or using a twitch can help. The fixation is not carried out on the simulator. The next step is to locate the correct puncture site in the jugular vein. It is located at the transition from the proximal to the middle third of the neck. Here, the common carotid artery is covered by the omohyoideus muscle, which minimizes the risk of an accidental puncture of said artery. In horses with strong lower neck muscles or thick winter fur, the vein can be difficult to locate and therefore also to congest. In this case, shearing the fur can help expose the vein better. The venous status test is used to check whether blood is accumulating and draining well in the vessel. The contralateral vein should also be checked. This step isn't carried out on the simulator. An obviously damaged vein should never be injected into. The puncture site is then disinfected with a swab soaked in alcohol. Stand on the left side of the horse to inject into the left jugular vein. Right-handed people would use their left hand thumb to congest the vein towards the heart. The right hand inserts the cannula into the congested vein at a 45 degree angle to the vein, in direction of the head. The bevel of the cannula should point away from the animal. If the vein has been punctured, blood will leak out of the cone. The hand holding the cannula should always be in contact with the animal. The cannula is then advanced parallel to the course of the vein up till the cone. The left hand now takes hold of the cannula. The thumb and index finger hold the cone in place until the cannula is removed. The remaining fingers of the left hand can be used to block the vein below the cannula. The right hand can now attach the prepared syringe. Aspiration of a small amount of blood can be used to recheck that the cannula is properly seated in the vein. The drug can now be slowly injected into the vein. After the drug has been fully injected, the vein is now congested towards the heart. The syringe is removed from the cannula, so that no remainders of the drug in the cannula get into the surrounding tissue when pulled out, some blood should be allowed to drip out of the cannula. The puncture site is then blocked towards the head without pressing the cannula tip into the endothelium of the venous wall. This prevents the formation of hematomas and damage to the endothelium. The cannula is now withdrawn from the vein. After letting the congestion go, it should be ensured that there is no secondary bleeding. The injection site should not be touched afterwards. The cannula is now disposed of in the appropriate container the syringe is disposed of with residual waste.